it seems like every video of mine, when I went back and looked at all of my videos, they all say something about copyright. I'm like, I know I was not playing like anything in these videos, any music like that for it to be copyright. They were not on that long, but whatever. That's what the people say. Um, oh, this is what I wanted to do. I went in Target one day and I smelled, you know, when you go on the, uh, the aisle with all the um, laundry products, I was smelling downy. Okay, so it's Nature Blend. It says it's free of dyes uh, with a touch of coconut oil and it's gentle on the skin. It's a plant-based and I smelled it and I think I was flipping out in the aisle. So I purchased two. And flip up, I shall do. Like this is, oh my God. So good, it smells amazing. I'm gonna put some on my clothes. Like this smells so good. It smells so good. I hope no one's looking at me. There's no one out here. Oh my God, this smells amazing. Oh my God, this smells so good. I'm gonna put some on my vest for work. I'm not crazy, I promise. This stuff smells amazing. Oh my God. People, okay, someone's approaching. It's slow this morning. This vest is, um, that's a clean vest. No, I don't wear it dirty things but it just it doesn't have a smell you know it's like why do we buy all these laundry products and then the clothes doesn't have a smell like I want like a really I want my clothes to smell like this <laughs> like smell like that please uh. yes yeah, so I don't really have much to tell you guys I'm gonna sit here and edit these videos all these videos that I've been making <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and edit those right now. I'm still on mine, it's just slow. Okay. Well, I just came back. I just looked at the apartment. I went upstairs on my floor and everything. The balcony is small. Uh, those huge balconies that I saw there, and I am not in one of those units. I'm having a really bad feeling about this place right now. Around everyone's door, it just doesn't look kept at all. I'm not used to this, no, like no, um, no. I don't know about this. And I'm gonna have to do this for a year. There's some guy on the balcony. <clears throat> I don't know if he's on the phone or he's talking to someone that's down lower, but he is so loud. Like, whoever's asleep there awake now. <sighs> yeah, the door outside, like the, um, on the balcony, there's a storage closet. I see the door open. I, I just want to know what this unit looks like and what I'm getting myself into. Because that right there is not where it's at. Like, that's not where it's at. I really wish I had gotten that first place that I saw. I thought this place was like spectacular, you know. Well, I won't say spectacular, that's a really strong word. But I thought it was like the best out of all those apartments on that street. And it's not looking like that. Uh, the walkways and stuff like going up to the apartments, that wasn't bad, that was actually pretty clean. But I just looked like around everyone's door, like the door sill and all that stuff. Y'all can't clean that? Y'all don't have a broom? Yeah, so. <sighs> I am. And the fact that they're saying that this place needs new carpet or the carpet's trash. Does that mean you're putting brand new carpet? If you're waiting on carpet, guys, I would hope to God that means you're ripping that old carpet out and putting new carpet in. I'm going to call him tomorrow and just to clarify all of this stuff because i'm not about to go live in somebody else's filth you know that's freaking nasty i can stay where the hell i am for that you know and just make that work until whenever 
but since they were willing, you know, to go ahead and rent me the place, he did help me out a little. Um, I'm just gonna have to deal with this for a year, but as of right now, I'm thankful, but I'm not happy with what that looks like. So I can only imagine what inside looks like. So that was a moment. I'm somewhat over it now. You know, I have really beautiful furniture going into this place. So if push comes to shove, I'll just have to either hire a cleaning crew to come back in and clean it again. And then I'll clean it myself again after the cleaning crew have gone. Um, so we'll see. And I'm talking as if I've seen the inside. I have not seen the inside of this apartment. I'm just really bummed that the balcony is not the size. Like the balconies that I saw are like huge. Huge means like really big. <laughs> um, they were just like a really nice size. It's almost the size of what I have now in the townhome. And because I have an end unit, I'm not getting that huge balcony. I'm so freaking pissed about that. But, you know, I'm thankful that I have a place. In two weeks, hopefully, I will be moving in in two weeks. I should have been in this place today. Yesterday was my actual day to move in, but yeah didn't happen um I'm still gonna say you know I'm gonna say upbeat it's hard and I know they said beggars can't be choosy but I'm not a beggar and I have the my, it's not gonna have screwed up credit or I don't have the money to pay for this place so I don't know why they're acting, they're acting as if, or I'm acting as if, oh, I'm so thankful. I am very thankful, because the guys did not have to do what they did, but from the looks of that place, um, it seems like pretty much anyone can get in there. And I'll, I don't wanna sound like so opposite of what I was before, but with them not having, like if I'm supposed to move in on Saturday, why are you calling me like three days before to tell me that the place isn't ready. Why would you not know this? When did the other people leave? Three days before and you're supposed to have everything ready for me? Who's gonna come and clean that place, you know, within those few days? I just don't understand that, you know? And I should have said a little more, but I'm calling him tomorrow and be like, yo, what's up? What's, is this apartment gonna be like clean? Do you have a cleaning crew already? Like this is this is unacceptable. Rent is too high, and I work too hard, you know, for this. Hopefully, I can get a house soon. I, I just need a house. I can't be living behind other people anyway. God forgive me. I am very thankful. You know how I am, though. He knows how I am, and you know, if it was my, you know, my doing, my dirt or whatever is in that place, I'd be fine because it's my germs. Those aren't my germs, you know. I'm gonna go to work. And um, it's it's still a great day. It's gonna be a, a fantastic day. I hope I have a really easy route today. I'm just a little bummed at what I just saw. Well, I'm glad I went and looked at it just now because I would have been totally pissed had I walked in that place expecting a huge balcony and that's not what I'm getting. The model that he showed me had that same size balcony that I'm getting and I didn't even realize that, hey, well, this is the balcony that you have now. But whatever, I'm gonna go. Okay, now I'm looking a little rough this morning. It's August 1st, today's my sister's birthday. I'm the youngest of three. Ooh, I look bad, oh my God. Look, I pretty much just jumped out of bed I took the quickest little sponge off and I was out the door. So I look bad. I washed my face, but I wasn't able to moisturize it. So this is what you get today. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try and clean myself. I have no eyebrows and I don't have my pencil. 
whatever. You know, sometimes I turned my phone on and the surge was real. I laid in bed for a minute and surfed like Facebook or Instagram, one of them. And I was like, let me see what's going on in Uber world. And yeah, the map was red. I was like, let's go. <laughs> Guys, it is 7.23 p.m. I am just now getting off from Amazon. It was a long day. You know, it was really long. It was long. Oh, my God. Like, I... Listen, check this story out. What's my ceiling? Check this story out. Ooh. I look... Oh, my God. Sorry, guys. Okay. That's good. Okay, so... Sorry, y'all gonna have to deal with what I look like. What's up right here? What is, jeez. I watched it this morning and th these are the results. Anyway, I have a story for you. Do I have a story? Okay, so last night, y'all know about the apartment, right? Um, so I wasn't able to move in on Saturday. I won't be moving in until two weeks. So, um, for some reason, I don't know, how, I don't really know how the thing gets started. It was late last night and I just could not go to sleep. You know, God is trying to tell you something they say when you can't go to sleep. So I was like, hmm, something told me to Google um, the apartments because I had started feeling bad about the apartment when it wasn't ready and then from what the two girls that I picked up what they had told me and then when I went there you know I told you guys about how it just didn't look up to par like my standards so I was like let me google these apartments tell me why it's one star the lady was like her car got broken into several times um management doesn't do anything about it they said they called the cops and management wasn't even there they broke into several cars hers happened to be broken quite a few times different nights they just and it broke the glass you know break the glass and stuff she said that she says there is a pest problem i believe one person said that and one person said and these are all chicks guys don't really write reviews i think it was the same person who said her car got broken into and it was only two, it was two or three reviews that I read. One person said you could hear everything through the walls. Like, so she always heard her neighbors. And um, the person, one of the neighbors told her, you should have never moved to blank, blank, the apartments. No, I didn't say, I'm not going to say the name of it. But there's like, you should have never moved to these apartments. So I'm like, oh my God. I'm like... You know, I can deal with the place. And they said, oh my God, one person said they had to scrape mold off of the bathtub. Those par those apartments aren't like new. They're not new apartments. So I can only imagine the mold in there. But yeah, that person said the place was dirty. They had to scrape the mold off of the bathtub. I'm like, no, no, you can't set me up like this. I started Googling immediately. I was mean, you know what? I can't move here. Like, if I can't know that I'm safe, like, my car, don't mess with my car. Please don't mess with my car. I could deal with the apartment not being completely clean because I can clean it myself. I will never have peace if I live in those apartments for a year. That will be a year of just no peace because I'm constantly thinking about my car. My car was broken into, well, it was left unlocked, you know, during summertime, you know, people, they do your, like, on your handle, they pull on your handle if it's unlocked, and they're getting in there. No one's ever broken into my car, though. But, yeah, that has happened. So, for me to have to think about someone actually breaking my glass, that's crazy. I cannot sleep there. And I already know my kids are going to say it's ghetto. But, so, I, I started looking. The townhome that I had looked at before, it popped up again. I'm like, this dude is tripping because I told him I give him first month, second month, and security deposit, you know. And he was like, Oh, there's someone else looking at it, they already did the application. All right, so why is it still like for rent? So I was like, I will be calling you in the morning, and then I just started searching more apartments. <clears throat> I went back to the first one that the very first application that I did. I went back to that one. Um, 
it was still sort of reasonably priced well reasonable it's not reasonably priced but it was still like around the same price that they I was gonna get it for so um, I believe it was anyway but and then I checked on another one that's near there and I was like oh that price looks good let me go ahead and apply for this I actually applied for the apartment and when it came to the payment they said $300 I was like no mm, no I can't I can't I can't I can't so I was like no I'll just call them in the morning and explain my situation to them that I um, you know if, if someone else interested in this apartment because I can't lose $300 you know and I don't know if I would get that money back because part of it part of it is a moving fee that x5 is insane oh my god it's like pearl white I think I want pearl white now uh, part of that is the move-in fee and part is the application fee like they run your credit and stuff um, well the background check and the move-in fee and then the application fee is $50 you will not be getting that back so yeah so I was like yeah no I can't I'll just call them in the morning and then a little boy said girl <laughs> put that on your credit card you know just put it on your credit card it's not like it's physical cash right now that you're losing and I made a good chunk of money last week so just go and put it on the card I was like okay so I applied for it and the thing started spinning spinning we're checking you're checking we're checking oh your information has it didn't I was not approved it says it's not enough info I would have to call the office in the morning Luckily, the office opened at 9 because if they, they had opened at 10, I probably would have died. So, I immediately uploaded that night. This was like 1 o'clock this morning, maybe even 2. Like, I could not go to sleep. It could not have been 2. It was like 12.31. So, I immediately uploaded my pay stubs. Everything happens for a reason, you know. That apartment, I was supposed to be in that apartment on Saturday. The apartment that I was getting, I was supposed to be in there on Saturday. For some reason, the person trashed the place. I wasn't able to move in. Okay, there's that. There was something else. I was on a roll. This was going to sound so good. Oh, yeah. So I refinanced my car. I don't have a car payment for like two months. And then also the rent that I should have been paying got reduced significantly because I was going to move in later. All that stuff came into play because, you know, of that situation on last night when I applied to that apartment. Long story short, I called the lady this morning. I was like, hey, I, I sent my pay stubs. I did the application online last night. They said I needed to call you guys for more info or for more like whatever. And um, she was like, okay, so yeah. She was like, just upload your bank statement. She was like, yeah, so we just need your bank statements or your pay stubs, your last two pay stubs. And, you know, last week I got all that overtime. So that check was looking real good. That is the only check that I submitted. No, y'all not getting last week's check. I'm going to give you this one check right here. So she was like, just upload that. I had some problems uploading, so I had to call them back again. And I had to call my bank. And then I, I got it though. I got it. I think before I even called the bank, I had already gotten it. Um, okay. Like I said, long story short, she called back and she was like, yeah, so everything checked out. Let's just decide on a move-in day for you. Girl, did you just say everything checked out? Oh, let me type. Yo, I'm going crazy now. I'm going to start acting real crazy right now. This place now when i got done with the application guess what it's a handicap accessible unit do i look like i care the only thing is that really is going to be like different the countertops are going to be like lower i don't think i care about that i do care if i don't have a bar though like i want a bar i want counter height bars so hopefully that's not too low but whatever this place is nice the first it's a hundred and fifty dollars less than the first place it's larger than the first place it's gated it's so pretty the pool area i'm talking about this pool area as if i see i haven't seen this apartment it's just like the last apartment i didn't see any of these apartments before like applying 
Um, I don't know why the Lord is blessing me and just don't stop, please. Oh my God. I am so thankful because he knew he did all of this stuff with that last apartment. He was like, I can, girl, I can't let you go out like that. The good Lord was thinking about me. He was like, I can't let you go out like that apartment. It's not for you. So, oh my God, I got this other place. I'm going to treat myself to Starbucks right now, but I can't because I said no sugar. I'm going to just have some wine when I get home. That's sugar too, but I don't have to buy it because it's already there. Um, I'm going to pick up my Amazon package. I was like, oh my God. I listen. When I was driving this morning, I had a right, I saw like something on a, you know, they have like, uh, on the city buses they have like um what is it called like promotions or commercial like stuff ish i don't know what it's called i know what it's called but i can't think of it so they had if you were wrong for um if you were denied getting an apartment or a house call this number blah 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 and look i took the number down i was like because they're not about to play me because you know um, i got the money and i need a place so i took that down <laughs> I got that number and I look I had already I had all of this stuff in my head to tell this lady I was like hi my name is Shauna this is what I was going to tell her it's going to be hi my name is Shauna I applied on last night before I go any further I would just like to bless this conversation um the Lord told me to just bless this conversation so that we can have a great like outcome look all of that stuff went out the window when I called this lady this morning but I didn't have to say any of that. When I was going to call her back, I was going to be like, um, you know, I was just going to give her a sob story. And that's not me. I don't like to have to beg for anything. And I shouldn't have to beg if I actually have the money this time. Now I actually have the money. You know, my credit's looking pretty good. This water's good. My credit's looking pretty good. So I shouldn't have to beg. And, you know, God's looking out for his girl in these streets because that water went up my nose. I didn't have to do any of that. The lady just called and was like, yeah, so everything checked out. Let's decide on a moving date for you. I was like, um, yeah, so can we do Saturday? She was like, perfect. Yeah, we can do Saturday. I'm just going to go and check the place and make sure that everything's okay. Why? She said she's going to go and check the place. Do you think the last um, apartment complex did that? She went and checked the place like that hour. She went and checked the place to make sure it's moving ready for your girl. Um, what else? She was like, yeah, so I'll just send you over a welcome letter and let you know what all you have to do. Now, I haven't looked at it yet, this yet. I don't know how much money I'm going to have to put on up front. I think it's just $2,000. I think that's what it said. Um, but I still have the check from the other apartment. I'm going to have to take that back and have them reissue that or do whatever they have to do at the bank because i'm not moving there i'm gonna call the guy tomorrow and be like yo so i don't know um if i'm breaking the lease even though i haven't really signed the lease yet because i haven't handed over any money for like security and all that no i did hand over money for security i don't know i'm gonna but i'm gonna come tomorrow and be like hey so i cannot move there i'm not moving there tomorrow or not tomorrow i'm not moving i'm gonna come tomorrow and let him know that um, I was like, I would be like, thank you for all your help. But yeah, the lady sent over the welcome stuff. I haven't looked at it yet. I'm going to do all that stuff when I go in the tub. Make sure my phone's charged. It's not charged enough. Oh, it's 56%. She even sent a separate email giving me pictures of the place. Who does that? This is... I want to go walk. I want to go ride by there right now, but I can't because it's gated. Like, I won't even be able to get in. There's a balcony. The place is so much. This is, this place is actually 1,200 and something square feet. That's a huge leg up from these other places that I was looking at. They were like right at 1,000 or 1,000 and like two. <laughs> now, it's still small. I'm, I'm moving from almost 1,800 square feet to 12, but you know this is what starting over looks like i need to go and get my amazon that's where i am right now and then i need to go to cbs but yeah so i will be moving today's august 2nd i will be moving so today's tuesday i will be moving on saturday in four days yeah 
I'm a little afraid of what's gonna happen with the other place, but not really. She, she said, I wanted to send over some photos of the apartment and I didn't click on the email yet. So I don't know what else it says. Like, that is so amazing to me. So I take back what I said about the chicks. You know, sorry, it's not all chicks, it's not. She was like, she, yeah, she was really helpful. I don't even know how, see, it was that big check. You know, look, that check looked really nice. Like, that was a nice check. Christmas time, I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna pay rent like three months in advance when I get those Christmas checks. Like, it's crazy. I am so happy right now. I don't even know what to say. I'm just really happy. I'm so thankful. I didn't have to ask anyone to co sign for me. Oh my god. And I started buying some stuff last night. I was like, if I have to stay in this crappy apartment, I'm talking about the other place that I was supposed to get. I was like, if I'm gonna have to stay in this crappy apartment, I'm gonna make it look like something, you know? I'm gonna be comfortable at least inside, hopefully. But I'm gonna worry about that. That's all, it, that's what I've been buying. Oh, I got some trees. I got those pillows there. I picked up a desk on yesterday. I think I'm gonna go ahead and order this bookcase. I am so anxious to see what, um, what these photos look like. Deliver today, package that at the front door. Okay, and this one's at the locker. That's coming, okay, and that's coming. Okay, all right, so yeah, bye. Eight twelve. I have not made it home yet. I was stuck in a Zaxby's drive through line for some time and I eventually had to go inside. I got my Amazon package though. I got CBS, what I needed from CBS, and then now I'm going home. So I got the food for my teenager and I. Taylor's 15. Or how about I did look at the welcome packet that she sent. Um why is the rent still so much less than the other place well it's it's less rent it's like a hundred fifty dollars less oh i i haven't looked at the pictures yet i'm still gonna wait until i get in the tub to do that but because i'm on the first floor the other apartment i was on the third floor which i didn't really have a problem with that but with that i did not have like hardwood floors throughout i believe this uh unit here has hardwood floors throughout that's a snake has hardwood floors throughout and they're like it's completely updated the other apartment this guy said it was updated so what he meant when he said that was you just got the hardwood in the kitchen and the bathrooms only not in the dining room just the kitchen and the bathroom see my old neighborhood guys i'm gonna miss living here i will be moving back here like i just love this neighborhood so i will be moving back here buying a house sometime but yeah uh so yeah i believe i have hardwood floors she sent me pictures of the actual unit that i will be staying in so that's good i'm so excited i mean this is what i should be doing you know this is what i feel like you know and um yeah this is the life that i should be living because i'm what I got going on right now, I mean, I ran an X5 the other day and my head is like big now, you know, I feel like I can like do anything that I want. So I'm going to, it just gives you more confidence, like just getting your credit in order and, um, 
having a little money. Now, I don't got money to where I can go and take a trip, but I'm not really living paycheck to paycheck. A kid is coming. Gotta go. Bye.